Hi guys, Moz here from Moz6510 Models. We're a channel dedicated to help you become a better scale modeler. Again, in the series of little quirky sort of models I've been going through recently. This one is the Tiger Cute Plane Kit Series number seven. This one is the World War II Soviet Air Forces Lavoshkin LA-7 Fighter. As you can see, it's, it's a cartoony style model. It's designed for children who can't do, or wouldn't be able to do, like, say, an FX starter kit. But they're a bit more advanced than the quick build Lego type of build. You can use paint, you can use glue, but you don't really have to. Okay, that's basically the premise of these models. Like I said, they just look very similar to the Hazigawa Eggplane series. It's just a bit of fun if you're an adult and you want to do it that's fine it's something you could do with a, a younger child who um would like to get into model kits but you know you, you don't want them to use any scalpel blades because they are actually easy to come off the sprues let's have a quick look on the side on the side you've got a bit of box art there of the other models that they do again on the on the edge of the box you've got the artwork you see on the top they have a call out the side which shows you this. You can either have a self adhesive sticker or a decal, and there's the colours there. On the back of the box, which I think is absolutely perfect, and I think they need to do this on a lot of model kits. The more I review model kits, there's certain quirks that they should do that really help the situation. And that's have the colour call out on the back. So this one here. Tamiya paint so if you're if you are um in-depth modeler you would use Tamiya paints so you like the xf1 xf7 flat reds um and any flat white uh most most of these are xfs actually most of these are flats so olive drab chrome silver flat yellow neutral gray and and they also put here where you put the decals or the stickers okay so top opening box let's open up and see what you get inside <laughs> Basically, you get three sprues and the detail in them is actually very, very good. It's quite a stiff plastic. Uh, you can see by the by the bulge, they are like a chunky sort of plane. Recess panel lines, uh, no rivets or anything like that. But, you know, it, it is a basic kit. They fit together with the location pins. So they're quite chunky location pins. Fits all together quite nicely and, and good bit of detail on the side for a cartoony sort of plane again you can see there's the wing straight across there the dashboard does have detail on the dashboard which looks nice um even though you're going to put a decal on it or a sticker over it so but it is there if you need to so you could actually just dot and paint them if you want very good there on that side and then you also have your propeller bit and your landing gear and then your three part wheels the wheels come in three parts so you have like your tire your hub and then the um the barrier sort of thing yep so all pretty good there not much engine on this one i don't think again the canopy is phenomenal the canopies on these kits do look absolutely brilliant but they have to be because it's quite a large part of the plane as part of the cartoony sort of caricature sort of look of the plane you know they've got the bigger bubble on the top like you know looking at the decals the decals look really crisp they're actually i think they're fantastic very very good decals on that kit there look at that see and then you also have the sticker sheet there so if you don't want to um use decals you can use the sticker okay so the instructions again fantastic instructions they have the call you know they show you what's on the decals the canopy so you can see if if you if a piece comes off you can see what the number is basically very good on the other side you have the call out or the colors again like i said it's tamiya colors so you probably have them on your shelf somewhere opening up the of the page you uh the propeller assembly there then you have the cabin assembly moving down through you have the fuselage assembly where you put the uh landing gear in from the rear wing assembly put the landing gear on of the plane fuselage wing assembly all together then the last bit is you put the canopy on and the final um fins at the back and then it's complete and that's basically the kit together so there you go this was a quick review on the tiger model cute plane kit series 
the Lavoshkin LA7 fighter. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and click that bell so you're notified of any new videos. Any thoughts, any, any questions, put them in the comments box below and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.